Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and I bring you all the new revealed cyber support or generic uh, firewall retrains that we're getting in 2022. Super excited to go over these cards because they look very, very interesting. Uh, first things first, I think we're going to go over the most interesting card and then go from there. We have a Link 6 Firewall Dragon. This guy is ginormous. And uh, basically, he has a quick effect where he basically bounces monsters that are special summoned from the extra deck up to the number of different type monsters you have in your graveyard that were special summoned from the extra deck. Basically meaning, it's kind of like an axe. Uh, I don't know what deck can really play this. I guess Agnister. But the idea is that if you summon multiple different types of monsters like Ritual, Synchro, XYZ, Link, uh, um, etc., Fusion, things like that. This guy just basically says, hey, quick effect, uh, just bounce them all. Which is pretty, pretty insane. Really, really good effect. And then basically he also has the effect where uh, basically if a cyber monster dies in the zone he points to, uh, basically he gets the reborn. Which is pretty, pretty insane, honestly. This card has a lot of potential. The only issue, it's a Link 6. You know how huge and how much resources you gotta put into a Link 6? Now, that going wrong, it's really, really cool. This guy's gigantic, but a Link 6, that's six materials needed. That's a lot of materials. And think about this. Agnister is a Towers, and he's like 5K attack, depending on how many different types you need with him. And he is, I think, a Link 4. This guy's a Link 6 and has no protection whatsoever. Don't get me wrong, you can IP masquerade into this guy, but other than that, there really is no protection for this dude. This guy is just a Link 6 bounce everything. He's kind of like a Link version of Zeus. But he also requires different types in the grave. Which, I, if it was attributes, it would be fine. Or types of monsters, it would be fine. But the fact that it's like other types of like synchros, XYZs, links, things like that. All those monsters require other monsters. Like, it's going to be really hard to put a Synchro in the graveyard while climbing into a Link 6. The only deck I can see this being played is Agnes through it, and I just don't see why you would make this. Uh, they, like I said, they're, they're a Towers deck. This guy isn't really a Tower. Now, this guy was a Mule My Card effects, and he had the same like, effects as Agnes, basically. But he did the whole quick effect bounce everything. I can see Agnes playing this. This would be like their new win boss -er. And I can definitely see that. But I just don't see it. I just don't see it. It's a Link 6. It just, that, you don't understand. If you're not really a Link Climb player, like let's say you're just got into Yu-Gi-Oh! And Tier Elements and Splite is all you know, really. Linking is very important. And it takes a lot of resources to climb to a Rank 6. It really means like six different monsters. I mean, this guy only gains like in a beneficial effects. One, you have to be played in a Cybers deck. And then two, you have to use monsters from other cards from the extra deck. Like, the the only deck that can be played in Agnister. And they already have a really big committing boss monster. So, I don't know. Seems really interesting. But I don't think this deck really has a home. This card, exactly. But I can't lie. It looks amazing. Firewall has haunted my dreams ever since uh, the FTK formats. And the looping it can do. But this guy doesn't really loop cards. He's just... A glorified Zeus. And one of the best things about Zeus is that he's, Zeus is non once per turn. It's very easy to make any XYZ that gone into battle phase makes him. And then it just, depending on how many materials, it just keeps Zeus in the field. This guy's a once per turn, and it depends on how many is in grave. And he has no protection whatsoever. I just, I just don't see it. He's a really, really cool card, though. I really like him. And that's, that's about it. Maybe someone could prove me wrong in the comments. Or maybe there's some new tech that just I don't know about Cybers. But I really just don't see what home this deck has. Besides Agnesers. And even then they won't even play it. Uh, let's just go on to the next card. So we have a new spell. It's a quick play spell. This should be pretty interesting. Let's just go straight in. So out of all these cards. I think this one's probably the weakest out of the bunch. This is Sinet Roback. Uh, it's a quick effect reborn from the banished zone for cybers monsters. You spell someone into your into a link monster's zone, which is pretty okay. 
Uh, not really great effect. I don't know what cyber monsters are you banishing. I can, I can see some possibilities. Like, for example, let's say they DD Crow your, uh, what's it called? Ibli. The stop the Ibli summoning onto your opponent's field. You can use this card to get back the Ibli, but I really don't really see some card. I guess there is some cyber set boot banish, like Banish Your Lord, but who plays Banish Your Lord nowadays? I don't know. There, there's some interesting cards to that, but honestly, it's. It's a quick play. Maybe it's a one of, but I don't really see a Cybers card ever banishing. That then we're reborning it back. That's kind of strange. And then it has a fact where you have two thousand or less life points. We could target two Cybers cards in your graveyard and add them back to hand, which is like cool. But why does it have to have the restriction that we have two thousand or less life points? I feel like this card was already mid and this part of effect is because it's you had to have 2000 or less makes it even worse so honestly i don't even know this card out of all the cards i think it's going to not see any play it might just be pack filler but hey what can you do it looks cool though deco talker on the artwork hey but uh i think the trap card actually out of all the cards we've seen so far and the link six i guess has the most potential because this trap card Actually, it's pretty saucy. I'm not going to lie. All right, so out of all these cards, I think Sinet Circuit, this trap card, this normal trap card, probably has the most potential. This card basically says, hey, I'm soul charge as a trap card. So basically what it does is that, hey, on activation, you special summon as many monsters from your graveyard as you can to uh, zones that your uh, link monster has. It has to be a firewall link. Now... You're probably wondering, why is that important? Well, yes, it is a trap card, so it's like, uh, it's 2022. Why is this important? But the fact is that we can special summon anything from Grave and just put it into the zones. So let's say you use an IP Masquerade on your turn, make a monster immune. Well, then you can activate this effect, special summon out an IP, and an IP on your opponent's turn, which is pretty, pretty solid. Not gonna lie, multiple effects of IP is, not, is pretty solid. Not to mention, this card reborns anything. So, I can kind of see, like, a branded exclusion kind of way, where you can play, like, generic floodgate monsters, just get them in Graveyard, and set up a play where you have a Firewall Dragon, activate this Trap card, which is searchable, because it is a Cynet card, and then basically say, hey, look, I'm floodgating you to win the game, because you just Quick Effect Reborn a Scythe or something, or Quick Effect... Suppose something like Spell Canceler or something and just lock your opponent out of the game. This card has some potential. And its other effect isn't bad either. But it's a little, like, gimmicky. Basically, it says that if you have 2,000 or less life points, you just special summon a monster from the extra deck. Now, it does say you do have to shuffle back, a, I believe, a Firewall Link from your graveyard. But the fact that it kind of just, like, hey... It's a comeback mechanic. It's pretty, pretty interesting. And it did say you special summon any monster from your extra deck. Now, it does require you to be on the losing end because it's not a quick play trap. It's not a counter trap. Well, I guess all traps are quick play, but it's not a counter trap, so your opponent can respond to this card. But the fact that you can special summon anything from the extra deck is pretty sick. But it does require you to have 2,000 or less life points, so what are the chances of that? Not to mention it is a trap card, so what are the chances of you resolving that? I, I personally don't know, but I do think the reborn effect is the most important part about this card. The fact you just reborn as many things as you want is pretty, pretty solid. It's kind of like exclusion, but you don't tribute monsters. All you have to do is have a link monster and have the zones for it. So I do like this card. And the fact that it's searchable, I can see decks like just generic uh, cybers decks just playing a firewall and playing a way to get to this card and just locking your opponent out of the game. Which is pretty, pretty cool. I like this card. It's a cool one of. And, uh, yeah, Firewall support. I wouldn't have seen this coming. Uh, Firewall is still one of the most worst formats we ever played. Uh, Danger Firewall or Danger FTK was abused. Oh, Grinder Golem FTK. That's another deck. Uh, just Firewall has so many evil loops. I never got ABC uh, A, Assault Cord Limited. God, those are the bad days. But hey, what can you do? It's back at one now, and they got new support, so let's go.